and Tom are friends of Jesus. They are in Jerusalem near the temple talking. Tom, have you seen Jesus? His parents are looking for him. They started home and had to come back. They say Jesus is lost. I haven't seen him since the first day of the Passover, but there are some people talking in the temple. Isn't that his mother going into the temple? Let's go and help look for him. And then they found him in the temple. He was talking with the teachers there. Mary said, son, why have you done this? We've been looking for you everywhere. Jesus answered, why did you look for me? My father's house is the place I love to go. But he returned home with his parents. And as he grew, everyone loved him so. Jesus was in the temple for three whole days. I'm glad his parents found him. What was he doing in the temple all that time? One of the teachers told me Jesus has been talking with him. He said Jesus understood everything they talked about and answered all their questions. How could he do that? He's only 12 years old like you and me. How would he know what to say to teachers and ministers? When his mother found him, he told us that the temple was his father's house. But Joseph doesn't live in that temple. Johnny, the temple is God's house. They say Jesus is the Son of God. about the wonderful things they've heard and seen. Everywhere I go, people are talking about Jesus. They say he's telling them to stop sinning and love God. He's teaching them to love each other and even to love their enemies. They say he's making strange things happen. Can he really heal the sick and bring the dead people back to life? I'd have to see that to believe it. It's true, I saw a miracle. I saw Jesus heal a crippled man. The man stood up and walked and even ran. He sure was happy. I saw him perform a bigger miracle than that. Remember my friend Jairus? His daughter died and Jesus brought her back to life again. He just took her hand and she got up. And then she even ate some food. Jesus said he's going to leave us. What did he mean? Isn't he going to be the king of the Jews? He said one of us will betray him. Who could it be? He says he's going to die then come back to life. I don't see how this can be possible. Jesus took three of his disciples and went into the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Suffered for us, he'll 
die that we might live. Drops of blood fall from the face of this holy one. And though he pleads in anguish, he prays, Thy will be done. Judas brought the officials to the Garden of Gethsemane where he betrayed Jesus by kissing him on the cheek. Judas yelled, This is the man you want? Then the officials arrested Jesus. His disciples were afraid and they ran away. The officials took Jesus to the Supreme Court and the court accused him of lying about being Christ, the Son of God. Pontius Pilate and King Herod both said he was innocent. Pilate offered to let one man go free, either Jesus or Barabbas, but the crowd of people decided to let Barabbas go free. They just yelled. sinned and he didn't deserve to suffer and die but he was dying for our sins and taking this terrible punishment for us in our place for three hours he hung there in darkness then he cried out my god why hast thou forsaken me god is holy and cannot look upon our sins i know it hurt jesus very much to have his heavenly father forsake him then a man held up a sponge filled with sour wine for Jesus to drink. Jesus tasted it and cried out, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and died. A terrible storm is here. The ground is shaking. Look at the soldiers. They're running away. They're really afraid. They believe now that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus was buried in a cave carved out of rock, and a great big stone was rolled across the door. The Jewish leaders heard Jesus say he would rise again in three days, so they put a guard at the cave so the disciples could not steal his body and then tell everyone he had come back to life. Three days have passed, and some of Jesus' friends are at the tomb talking. Look, the stone is pushed away from the door, and there's the cloth they wrapped him in. He is risen just like he said he would. There's Mary Magdalene talking with someone. Is it the gardener? No, it's him! It's Jesus!
loves me and what he did for me, I can't help but love him. He really must have loved us a lot to give up his beautiful home in heaven to come down to earth to be our savior. He was rich in heaven, but when he came to earth as a baby, he was poor. He didn't even have a home or a bed of his own. It's so wonderful to think how the perfect son of God was willing to take our punishment for us so we can be forgiven and have everlasting life. And he has promised to come back again someday and take all of us who love him home to live with him forever. I want to tell everyone the Jesus story. Thank you.